What's up, everyone? So to be honest, this is gonna come off very confusing. Um, it's gonna come off as just kind of really hard to explain. I'm making this video as a thank you personally to my father and I'm also making this as an apology video to the people who have ever believed in me or ever put faith in me and it will make more sense when I explain a little more uh, <clears throat> past few weeks has honestly been hard for I think everyone um, especially as someone who takes a lot of pride as being self-made because at first it was more or less me telling myself hey you know at least I don't have this I'm not gonna get laid off I don't have this and that but people have less money situations are becoming different and things are becoming harder in general just living with that being said I'm not gonna get into too many details because I can make a whole video on just this yesterday my phone died and when I say died like I mean died um, I don't have iCloud I don't have numbers ran down so I lost everyone's number all my apps my notes anything I lost all that and I don't want to act like my life is harder than anyone else's I don't want it to come off that way I was actually really selfish and I want to make that very clear I was so selfish that I kind of just gave up like not in the sense well honestly I don't know because I don't know why I don't know when I don't I stopped trying without realizing I was trying and when I say that I mean with being happy with bills with shit I need to get done I seen an easy way out and I just said, my phone's fucked up. No one's going to understand. I already know that. So, fuck every, like, fuck the world, basically. And I had called my grandmother because I lived with her majority of my life. And she just knows me. So it's really. It's sometimes an issue on some things I've done or do. But most of the time, she's understanding. She's the most understanding person I have in my in my life. Um, but she kind of tried to give me a pep talk pep talk of you know it's gonna get better I'm, I'm sorry you know like what do you need can I help and I got too much pride and you know everyone knows that nowadays regardless it ended on a good note basically just she was trying to get me motivated And I just was 
acting like, you know, I heard her on some real immature shit. And, uh, got off the phone, didn't think too much about it. I thought, shit, that's really nice that she's so understanding and shit. And then a few minutes or hours go by, and I start getting depressed again. I start looking like there's no way out. And I stop wanting to try. So I, uh, I don't remember anything. I just remember waking up and I was cold. So I grabbed a jacket. And then I remember waking up again. I was still cold. So then I grabbed a blanket because I'm stupid. You know, if you sleep next to your jacket and your jacket's closer than your blanket is. Instinct, you're gonna grab the jacket. Or at least me. A little off topic, but. I woke up this morning. And I woke up to. <laughs> it sounds fucking. This sounds sus as fuck. But listen. I woke up to being tickled. By getting the fuck tickled out of me. And I forgot where I was because my dad always wakes me up by tickling me because I guess it's his way of waking me up but not being hateful about it, if that makes sense. I don't know. He's he's someone you can't try to make make sense out of. You know what I'm saying? But earlier that morning, Fireflame had told me the rent was due, they had been calling, and that he was going to try to go make some money, that his mom was going to give him a ride. So I was like, damn, I got to figure out something, or they're going to either try to come in, because I was in my feelings. Like I would, I did not want to answer the phone, I did not want to answer the door, I didn't want to get out of bed, period. But I woke up to my dad tickling me, and I just, something snapped in my head, because my dad was right in front of me, bro. I, like that, it's just like, what the fuck? What the fuck was I doing? Why the fuck am I asleep? Why the fuck do I got no money? Like, what the fuck? So I just started going off on him about shit and then I figured out he has done some shit and then <laughs> I just get pissed at myself because I ain't got no money and my dad was like okay okay what do you need what do you need and I was on my pride shit and he's just like okay well let's do this you know and then you can pay me back this way or whatever And just after analyzing the situation and realizing that's how I woke up and just him being here. Because I didn't think anyone was just going to show up. This isn't a good place and it makes it sound, me sound like it's more than what it is, but seriously, it, you're risking your safety coming out here. Just because it's not a good area, and if we don't know you, we're going to be very suspicious. But I realize even though I can't see my son, even though no one sees any of the shit I struggle through, 
my dad raised me this way for a reason. And bro, I can't thank him enough. Like real talk. I think about it all the time, like bro, I wish I didn't put myself through so much mentally. I wish I didn't care so much about people, about things, about anything. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I wish I wasn't as motivated and I wish I could just shut the fuck up. But at the end of the day, like I wouldn't be the same person. You know what I mean? So is what it is. I really fully truly want to say thank you to my father for that. Because I wouldn't be the same person. Let's just say that. And to the people who believed in me musically, let me more or less single out. So musically, I don't want to make some depressing stuff. If y'all want music with whatever I'm going through and y'all really truly just want material because you want to know or want to have that piece of me like I can understand it the past few days Juice World unreleased has been like almost my life bro and it's just he has so much music that will never see the light of day most of it through copyright, you know, beat problems or mixing problems. But at least it's there, you know. It might get taken down, reposted, but at least it's there. And he's always going to have people who believed in him while he was alive enough to keep his name alive while he is not same way about Pete same way about X same way about Mac Miller same way about any of your favorite artists who you personally love that I didn't name so in that sense I am very very sorry for the people who support me musically but like I said, if y'all want that, let me know. And I might. I might. Just might. I just don't want negativity. And I don't want... I don't want to influence anyone to do anything that I've done in my life. And I full-heartedly say that with the most... Most... Like, don't, don't be a fuck up. Don't look at me and think I'm cool. Don't even look at this and the tattoos on my face and think like, oh, he believes in himself that much that he's going to go out and spin that and do that. Don't do that, please. Be your own person. If that's not you, that's not you. End of the day, we make sacrifices that we don't want to make. So, you'll know what's worth fighting for. And what's not. That being said, the next is YouTube and more or less Instagram. Any kind of social media where I'm not giving y'all more or less material and motivational and friendship someone to chill with someone to hang out with someone to talk to to y'all I'm sorry and I think y'all are the most understanding I know I do have some people who support me musically and and my videos and just me personally so they correlate in a lot of in a lot of senses but I think y'all understand the most. 
just because y'all see both sides. It's not just one-sided. It's not just this, this, and that. It's whole fucking book. I, I know I'm rambling at this point be, because it's just... Like I said at the beginning, it's a lot... But at least I told y'all at the beginning. I, I knew it wasn't going to make much sense, if any. Hopefully it does. Or did. Because I feel like if it did, it was before the ramble. And I feel like the ramble more or less got to when I was talking about the videos. I'm a very hypocritical person, but I want to point out something. I'm smoking this to calm down. Nicotine, it's not going to calm you down. Cigarettes are not going to calm you down. They increase your heart rate and just all other types of shit. Same way I drink Red Bull and it calms me down or it calms me down. I'm a very hypocritical person. And I don't know if I ever said on this channel, but I say it to people in my real life all the time. Because I'm very hypocritical. I'm very honest to a point where I'm too honest. I care too much. And I have too many problems up here. With that being said, I, I don't think I'm the worst person in the world either. I think that I was put through a lot of things. I believe everything happens for a reason. A little tangent. I, I might get off topic. But I, I believe everything happens for a reason, but I'm not religious. I don't believe that there is one. Let me put that very clear. That there is one in particular higher power. I believe that if there is higher power, that it it's more or less in the sense of energy or in the sense of many people with this energy or very select people with this energy. I'm spiritual and I've been religious. You're not going to try to convert me if you are because it's not what worked for me. Going back to what I was saying earlier, don't try to be who you're not. Don't try to believe what you don't. Don't try to love who you don't love. If you can't stop loving someone, realize that. My baby mom, I, I can't stop loving her. I won't. Like, at the end of the day, I want to be with her. Maybe one day I'll grow up like fully to where I can control everything and everything is good and maybe everything one day will be fixed, mainly up there and financially too, but I lost, I lost being a father to my son, having a baby. And not, I didn't get to hold him. I didn't get to teach him this and that. All that's gone. And just to put in perspective, I think about it every day. I cry about it every day. But I'm so, I'm so just motivated because of what that did to me that I see her taking my son away from me now is just it had to it had to be that way will I ever feel like it's right no I'll never feel like it's right but I'm not her you know 
it's about having perspective. You got to always have perspective. I know I threw like I think two different reasons on why I'm I'm making this. I know I was talking about something and I went to stop talking about it. I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm not gonna go back to that topic because I think I explained myself well enough. But I will say I want this to be a lesson to y'all. Be grateful for what you have at the time. Never rely on it. And always cherish the time that you had with certain people or certain experiences. Because I was there when my son was born. I did get to hold him a few times. You know, I did get to be over there and, you know, be with my wife at the time. No, not legally, but fuck it. In my mind, be my, be with my wife and have my son in the crib next to us. I got to have that experience. Some. Regardless of how long it was. With that being said, I'm starting to get really camera shy and really insecure. A little bit too much in my emotions for any thing more motivational to come out of my mouth. The next few things that I'll bring up if I keep on are going to be depressing things that I don't want to influence y'all with nor do I want to think about so with that being said as weird as that sounds and as open as that is I'll let you guys go just for spreading up the peace love positive vibes I know this video seems weird but People who have came to terms with reality will understand it. People who have never came to terms with reality or have never had to make sacrifices will not understand this. This will be a crazy rant. Y'all will probably say I'm on drugs. It is what it is. Perspective. So I will see y'all guys back in the next one. Be sure to spread up the peace, love, positive vibes. And as always, peace out.